Hey guys, it's Kennedy, and for today's video, I am going to be doing a review and demo of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This came out not too long ago, and I'm excited to show you guys just how I use it and tell you my thoughts about this product. So if you are interested, then please keep on watching. So first, I'm going to be going in with the Sephora Bright Future Color Corrector in the shade 04 Peach Light, and I'm just going to be dotting that under my eyes. So as you can see, I've put four dots under my eye here, just going around the darkest part of my eye, and then I'm just going to be using my ring finger and a beauty blender if needed to blend this all out. And usually I will go back in with just a little bit more color corrector to fix up any areas that are just still very dark. So hopefully you guys can see a difference. I know I can. It just makes my under eye circles look not as scary, a little bit less dark, which is what I want, and it just makes it easier to conceal them afterwards. So now I'm gonna go in with my foundation, and then I will come back and show you guys the concealer that we've been waiting for. In case you guys are curious, the foundation that I used is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade Y215. So before I apply this concealer, I do just want to point out that I have fine lines underneath my eyes. So once everything is all applied, it may look like it's creasing under my eyes. It's not. It's just the fine lines. And as much as I blend everything out using my finger or beauty blender or anything, it will end up kind of settling in those lines. I just don't have the smoothest canvas underneath my eyes to work with. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up. This is real life. That's my struggle. So yeah, let's just get into the application. I just like to take the concealer straight from the applicator because it's in this little like pen type applicator which is very convenient and just like my color corrector I am going to dot it in about four spots underneath my eyes. And I'm just going to do one eye first to show you guys a little bit of a difference. It would have been more dramatic of a difference had I not put any other makeup on this side of the face but we're just going to go with it. And now I'm just going to blend this out using my ring finger and a beauty blender. So this is what one eye looks like with the concealer on. And of course, I look really funny right now because I don't have any other makeup on besides foundation and concealer. So it'll look a lot better once everything else is done. But I did just want to show you like a comparison of like one eye with concealer and one with just like the color corrector and foundation. In person I can notice a bigger difference than you can probably see on camera, but overall I do really like this product. I don't think I mentioned that I have the shade Y21, which is the lightest concealer shade that they offer, and it's almost white, like I'm not kidding. It looks basically white, but I do think that it matches pretty well. It does like highlight underneath my eyes, which is what I want. And being so fair of skin, I find it a little bit more difficult to get concealer shades that are light enough to kind of highlight and like brighten underneath my eyes. And for me, this works out very well. So I'm going to apply concealer under the other eye and then I'll come back. So I just went and used a different concealer on other areas of my face and now I'm just coming back to show you guys what I use to set the concealer underneath my eyes. So just to ensure that the fine lines under my eyes aren't looking too crazy, I will go back in another time with the Beauty Blender right before applying my setting powder just to have everything looking as nice as possible. And the setting powder that I use is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So I switch between what I use to apply the powder, sometimes I use my beauty blender or I use my e.l.f. small tapered brush, but lately I've just been using this brush here which is literally a sponge on a stick, but I just really like the size of this sponge here and then this side is flat so I use the flat side to just like gently press the powder into the concealer. You can find stuff like this at like Winners, Marshalls, like all of those kind of places. Um, I just feel like it's, it's actually like a convenient little sponge brush for me, so I like using this. And then all I do is I pack a good amount of powder onto my sponge here and then I kind of look upwards or like tilt my head and look up at my mirror um, just so it's basically like the smoothest kind of canvas underneath my eyes 
to apply the powder, if that makes sense. I think it does. So being the genius that I am, I didn't even realize that my camera was out of focus for I don't even know how long, like probably the whole application of the concealer and a powder, so I'm very sorry. I guess when I had to change the battery on my camera, I changed the focus and I wasn't even paying attention, so I apologize, but now that I am done with the concealer powder and everything, I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and then I will come back to share my final thoughts on this concealer. So for my final thoughts on this concealer, I do have to say that I really like it. I don't know yet if it's my holy grail game-changing concealer, but I really like using it. I keep turning to it every day that I wear makeup, so I think that's a good sign so far. I've been using it for a few weeks and I do like the way that it wears. I find that it wears for a very long time. Some days when I work very early, I have like 12 to 15 hour days of wearing makeup um, and it holds up very well, so I'm very happy about that. Like, like I said, um, the fine lines are one thing underneath my eyes, but I do not find that this creases any more than just kind of sitting in the fine lines, but it's easy enough that I can just like take my ring finger throughout the day and just kind of like push the product around a little bit. Not saying that it doesn't set and that it moves around, but I can kind of like, you know, just blend it out a little so the fine line situation doesn't look so bad. Um, but I really like this. There are 10 shades in total, so five color correcting shades and five concealer shades. I do think that is a con because there is not a wide range of colors, but knowing Makeup Forever, I have a feeling that they will release more colors in the future because their Ultra HD foundation has 40 different shades to choose from. So I feel like they're just like launching this product, trying it out, and I can imagine they would release more shades in the future. Um, I was fortunate enough having very fair skin to find a shade that actually works for my skin tone and also manages to brighten my under eyes because most of the time when I am looking for products, I am so fair that I can find a product that maybe matches my skin tone, but doesn't necessarily do the work of brightening it. And this one is so light, it's almost kind of white, but I think that kind of works to my favor sometimes, um, works in my favor, but it brightens my under eyes and that's what I want. So I really like this. And I do like using it with my Sephora color corrector as well on its own, like I said, very white. So I feel like this really helps um, to, you know, make it look not like I put white paint underneath my eyes, which sounds scary. But this retails for $32 in Canada and I did want to try it with one of the like corresponding color correcting shades. However, Right off the bat, I couldn't justify spending $64 on a couple products, like two concealers, so I found a cheaper alternative, and this is the Sephora one that I've been mentioning. This one was $18, which is still expensive, but it's almost half the price of this concealer, so it was easier to justify. Um, with the Sephora one too, they do have a couple different like color correcting shades, so for darker skin tones as well, so that's something, something to check out if you are looking for maybe a cheaper alternative. I don't know how the color correcting shades compare, but I have watched a couple reviews and I've heard that they're very good, so it's something worth trying. And if you're interested in this and you are able to, I would highly recommend going to get a sample before purchasing, like just getting one of the samples from Sephora or Ulta or anything like that, um, because it is, you know, $32 or even in the States, like just under $30, I believe. It's a pretty good chunk of change, so it doesn't hurt to get a sample. And then if you love it, then you can buy the actual product. And just comparing the amount of product in this to another one that I always turn to, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one, you get seven mils or 0.23 fluid ounces in here. And then the NARS one has 0.22 fluid ounces or six mils of product. So it's roughly around the same. This one is even a little bit cheaper than the NARS one and you get a little bit more product. So I think a fairly standard amount of product. But that is it for my video today. If you guys have any questions about this concealer, please leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It has just a very like sweet kind of scent. 
don't know how to describe it, but I just, I got sucked in because it was so cute. So, story of my life at Lush. Also, if you guys know of any super hydrating eye creams, please leave them in the comments below because I'm on the hunt for a new one. My under eye area is just so dry and I'm using a Derma Doctor eye cream right now, but I could be using something that is much more hydrating and I'm doing a lot of research looking up like all these things on Sephora, trying to find one that doesn't necessarily break the bank, but if it works, then I'm willing to pay for it. So if you guys know of anything, please let me know. Any comments would be appreciated. So this is the lightest conceal concealer.